Well, you might well be right, Moses. We'll find out right now. MIPR starting on the CT side, Tidal on the T side, and already the fight has begun here at Top Banana. Stewie somehow surviving in Cold Sear. A great backup. This is such a nice trap being set. There was a long fight happening there, but it could have gone horribly wrong. But Stewie going to pick up the kill on Captain Mo, and whatever Tyloo had planned, it is just not going to work out. That uh, that initial fight from Stewie landed about two seconds longer than I would have wanted if I was in that position. But when they come yeah. out live, it's all good. Yeah, that was very close. He could have easily gone down. Another force in a wrap side. Cold Zero is going to end both of them. It looks like they bumped into each other slightly. They're being slowed down just a bit, and Cold Zero will pick up that first one. Great kill from the pit, and now Tarek. Holding up on the balcony, ready in case anyone comes out of the apps. He's looking for a little bit of an edge there. Actually going to jump down behind them. This is a really good move from Tarek to take down x -Curate. And Morris following Bentet going to be taking him down in return. So a three on three and somebody hiding in the corner. That's a big kill. Finally, they get rid of the pit player in Cold Sierra. Now it's all on Fallen. He runs right through the headshot, turning around and spraying through the smoke. He's half health as well. Flashbang on Bentet on the other side. But Fallen not going to follow through instead. He's thinking he's gone down into the pit. This play from Bentet is just incredible. He's got him beat. Yeah, how do you get up into... He's not even in Graveyard. He's actually just down on the low ground, ready and waiting and fallen. He has got no idea whatsoever there. That's a big surprise. They're going to start being a tough opponent again. Wow. Talking about tough. Fallen actually made that jump with three people waiting down at the bottom of Banana, so that's incredibly risky, but it works out. Now they've got another bit of a bait set up here. Cold Sierra going to take the first shot. It looks like there's going to be a bit of a jump. Oh my god, he hits the shot anyway. And x down to 22. One of the things I think we, we definitely saw out of Tyloo in the challenger stage was that they were kind of a little bit fearless when it came to some of this stuff, right? So maybe that's the way to go back and just try and say, okay, if we slow play, we are going to get picked off. That's a nice shot from x taking down Stewie. Now pushing for the smoke has fallen. This is madness, but it's exactly the kind of play we expect out of him. And he's back through again. Oh my god! No scoping Bentet before the bomb goes down. Out of control. And x going to be dropped as well. Fallen now with 16 and 3. But otherwise it's going to get really tricky. There's the smoke. Grenade lands on 2. That's not bad. Good re re refrag as well from Bentet. But I don't know how Fur got that kill, but he did ride on somebody. Now they're going to try and bomb plant again. The last couple of times they've been interrupted in the middle of it. This time they actually make it work. But x is on 7 health, and Bentet's going to go down to Tarry before anything even happens, so... Near impossible situation here, 1 versus 4, he's going to get the 1 kill. Ready as they come around the corner, the flick does actually connect, that's not bad, and... Even at this point, it's kind of impressive that he stayed alive, but he's not going to be able to win the round, and... Just going to be another round here. Good kill, again. Am I reading this right? 18 seconds now, and they want to make their breakthrough on the other side of the bomb side is Stewie ready and waiting with the M4. Fallen's been pushed out, but he comes back in for a big double kill with the C set 75. And now they're picking up the bomb. Eight seconds, seven seconds now. They're running out of time quickly. Finally going to get it down once again. Tai Lu having to fight for the afterplant here. Somebody in extra. That's a great kill for somebody. And he's someone we've, we've really been missing him in the game. Need to see more out of him. A double kill in this round. And he's ha he's got four overall, so... They need more. Flashbang through, and he can't see a single thing. And now it's all on x -Curit. He's going to pick up one kill. And Cold Sierra making his way in. He's got the AWP on the other side, so... This will be just a reaction test for both players. Hiding and trying to find time. He's going to go for the fight, and he wins it. That's a, such a big round. He got the first kill. Usually that's what people do. They, they pick up one kill, and they sort of fall back into the smoke, and they'll be fine. Fallen under a bit of pressure, but... Oh, they actually check for it, but they don't keep shooting. That just looked like sort of a reaction check almost. And now another kill. Stewie even picking up a double and Fallen. Holding strong in the back corner, and he's finally going to go down, but it's way too late. Up here it comes. He's going to go through. Oh, he's blinded the wrong second, but he's got the angle. They almost line up, and Fallen is seemingly in trouble as he gets caught trying to retreat. They haven't been able to punish. He almost gets it through the smoke and somehow survives. Yeah, he should have been dead. It felt like he was stuck as well. Now he tries to go back in, but this time they're going to shut him down. Bentet with a good kill there with the UMP, and now Boost is going to get caught as well. <laughs> Bentet swapping out for the AWP. He's just doing all of it in this round. Cold Zero. Can they chase him down? Do they want to try and see if they can maybe do some more damage here? Got to be very careful. They don't give up too many rifles themselves, and Cold is going to survive it, so... Side mid, no smoke, but he misses a shot, and I think... I don't think he's got a chance of surviving here. Flashbang out. They're going to try and hit lane, though. They're actually ignoring him entirely, and there, finally, Cold Zero goes down, but first still alive at the bomb site for a moment. Stewie and Pit needs to hold on as long as possible. Fallen missing a chance now. It's all on Stewie, you're absolutely right. 
They know that he's down here as well. He's already got one kill. Looking for Bentet. The grenade follow up. And if he goes down, Fallen's just in so much trouble. He's going to get Didi coming up from the mid. Now it's a 2 1 2 in the bomb. He's got a lot of time left on it still. You see Stewie ducking and diving not to get shot in the face. And finally, Bentet takes him down. And a great follow up here. Bentet having a good end to the harvest. One headshot and preferably some more damage. Let be up. He's waiting for it. Just counting the seconds. Not tapping away, but not really making it work. Now, backup is here, sure, but this is a 5-on-5 five five retake. The bomb is weirdly dropped on the ground. I obviously wanted to throw it over, but it's going to buy some more time, actually. Quite a few valuable seconds here for Tyler to get closer. The bomb is going to be down. So, a full 5-on-5 five five retake. We don't see those every day. Tyloo, what have you got for us here? That one smoke on Bentet. Maybe you could cut off a couple of players, but instant headshot from Fur taking down somebody. And now they need to make this work right now. Excrit taking down Fur. It's a good couple of kills in returns. Do we gonna get shot down? Excrit, more headshots and a little bit of a fight here. Captain Moore winning it, and it's all on Fallen. He's smoked off there on the bomb defusing with the kit and everything. He can't find the lineup. Captain Mo will win it and a great read be hit. First coming in now, but three players essentially in a three on three to take this bomb site. I do not think this is gonna go well. Throwing bodies through the smoke. It's just down to Tarek and Fur. Fur's not even with him. It has no idea that Ben Ted is still here. It's a free kill, it's the bomb down. Fur all he can hope for is taking money away. There's the first as somebody gets caught in a jump. Ten seconds. He does probably need to die in this round and He's just gonna fall away, and now that's a great call. Flashbang is out, they're all blind, he's got them all lined up, could have gotten three, but Bentet can't get anything done, the HP is so low. The good thing is, they fought such a forward battle that x is gonna have the rotation in time, drop the bomb on the ground, and it should be Ty Lu. Man, that is a lot of damage for one UMP to be doing. x ready and waiting, taking down Cold Zero, and Tarek is gonna be next, can't win the round, Didi will take him down. x living through with the AWP, and the bomb is making its way back, and Execute. Is he going to stand his ground on that side? If Bentet stays alive, somebody's gone down, so now they're going to want to stay around. Captain Mo with one kill, but he hears he had fallen. That's such a huge kill, and just the fact that he heard that means he's going to call it in. They know it's some sort of B-crunch happening. Execute, the only one who can keep this alive. Ten seconds, he has to get the kill. That's the bomb down. Oh, and one more flick taking down Stewie, and he saves the round. The sole defender on the bomb side. Him, and then the fact that Bentet heard that run through CT spring on in. He needs backup, and he needs it really quickly. 23 seconds now. The flash is out. He's going to get the one. Oh, the follow-up spray. Bentet dropping the bomb. And finally, Cold Zero can take him down. Now 15 seconds, and a three-on-three, three and a huge chance here for MIBR to pick up a round. The x taking down Stewie and Cold Zero now in a one versus two. But you know what? This is not a bad player to have left for a clutch like this. He's got no grenades, which is a bit annoying, but they're quite far away. And they need to regroup and find a way to take this one home. You do have a kit on either player. DD setting up with a single flashbang. Doesn't really touch him at all. And he's just ready and waiting. Hasn't even checked behind him for a good 10 seconds. He is just committed to this one position. Extra it. Walks right into the headshot. And Didi will follow into the grade. See if they can make it work. Down in the pit is Captain Mo. There are going to be a couple of grenades at least landing his way. But not that many left. No flashbangs right now in anybody's hands. This is a really strange maybe end to it. Captain Mo missing the chance. Didi will get one kill. Still got some bullets in the UMP. And Fur is very low on health. They're running out of time quickly. That's the bomb with 10 seconds. Somebody needs to pick it up and put it down right Right now, Fallen running onto the site, but they line up, Bentet getting it, and there's no chance, they can't win it. Cold Sierra, he can get the bomb, but there's, they're simply going to run out of time. What a mad end. Dex Curate, that's DD down, and Excurate, he might put himself in a very bad position here. If his scope is a little bit off, he's going to get caught almost immediately. Does get a good kill on Tarek, and now... Not getting called from Stewie. They're a little bit slow on this one. 24 seconds and they need to be much quicker than this extra it out in the open. He's going to get shut down no matter what here. Oh, he gets the kill on Fallen. Then someone's back in the bomb site. How is he still alive? And now down in the pit, Captain Mo, the sole defender of the bomb site. 10 seconds left of the spray is through. That's the bomb on the ground. It's a disaster. And that might be enough here. No time left for Fur. He's going to get dropped 16 13 in favor of Tai Lu. I have no idea how extra stayed alive for all of that. 24 kills on him. Oh, <laughs> oh,